Looking to fix a carb issue with a cheap engine mod or add some more torque? Well, I found a great little replacement carburetor that instantly increased torque noticeably, but it did take away from top end speed when I threw it on my homemade dyno to tune and play around with it, and I have horsepower results for you. So what do rototiller, snow throwers, stock appearing cart engines on small tracks, brush hogs, backyard mudding carts, and off-road minibikes have in common? A need for torque over speed, most of the time, and debatable, yes. The Tillotson TCT carburetor is a mechanical fuel injection carb that bolts up to many of the Honda clone engines in the market today. It seems like if somebody is using a Predator 212 or similar engine and needs torque over speed, a decent replacement carb for $40 is a Tillotson TCT. I swapped carbs on a stock Predator 212, and the Tillotson TCT on Predator non-hemi showed an immediate torque gain, an immediate RPM loss, and a tiny horsepower loss that was reclaimed after tuning the carb. A stock Predator engine with the throttle stop screw removed, is 7.3 horsepower at 4,150 RPM with a max of 4,650 RPM on my machine. Swapping out the Tillotson TCT carburetor, I got 7.1 horsepower at 3,600 RPM, so the RPM has went down, a max of 4,150 RPM, and that was non-tuned was not a direct bolt on. So how did I make sure that everything was ready to start tuning? I needed a fuel line extension and to bend a brace a little to fit under the air box. I turned idle down as it revs pretty high when it's first put on. So I spent about an hour tuning it on the dyno, seeing if I could get anything better out of the output. I matched the horsepower of the stock carb at 7.3 horsepower at 3600 RPM, or 7.1 horsepower at 3800 RPM if I wanted to push it a little bit faster, with a max of 4300 RPM, which is just cutting down your top speed, but at the same time, you're really pushing that torque up at 3600 RPMs with a pretty nice boost in torque itself. So I put the stock car back on, and I was getting 7.2 horsepower at 4,200 RPMs on a hot engine. So there's a little deviation that was expected at this point because I was playing with it for a while. I maxed at 4,500 RPM, which was a little odd, although I did add a chain stabilizer or a skateboard wheel to my dyno that might be the culprit if it wasn't just the linkage shifting from switching these back and forth. The horsepower consistent, however, and a nice result for torque gain. Overall, the TCT did as promised. It boosted low-end torque, and I can't really vouch for fuel savings because I ran out of fuel when testing because I was doing it for so long. I am going to end up putting one of these on my snow thrower, so when it gets that 10 inch thick wet snow without bogging down so much. Hopefully I'll save a little on fuel as well since I have a decent sized driveway and parking pads and part of a street to do. Well, let me know what you think. If there's any other parts that you want me to test out here, I've got the dyno and I'm playing around with small engines. I am looking to do a lot of mini bike builds and I have quite a few new engines for that. I'm looking to do some cart builds as well, some race cart engines, as well as some stock appearing cart class engines. So appreciate checking out my video. I hope you have a great day.